Hi there, this is Shoe Rainer at the Shoe Rainer Drawing School and I showed you uh, last time how to draw a Bugatti Veyron and now I'm going to show you how to paint it. But um, let's not talk about it. <laughs> let's do it. Well, if you've never seen this before, then uh, I've got um, a piece of watercolour paper over the original. Hang on, there. On a light table, so the light is coming through and I'm basically tracing the drawing that I did in the previous video you can see I'll put a little tag up here you can see how I drew it and how you can draw it too and I'm going to trace over this in ink uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this and I'm going to go through this quickly because we want to do the painting okay see you in a moment well, I keep uh, I keep saying this on 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 drawing school that uh, you know I'm I'm a professional illustrator and you do all sorts of tips and tricks and things to make things fast and yes I'm copying this and I'm tracing this but you, you've seen all the work that I put into the preliminary drawings it's my drawing that I'm copying okay so get over it okay I think I'm prepared <laughs> I think I got everything ready uh, I'm going to do the kind of um, black and red kind of version because I think that looks really kind of mean <laughs> and attractive so I'm going to put this start with this red I'm going to have a bit underneath there okay and then I'm going to put some more up there I so probably want to leave a little gap along the edge there um, and then I'm just going to kind of wash that down with some clear water um, and I think that that is a little a bit too vermilion so I'm going to add a little bit of a darker red in there um, kind of like that and put a bit more down from there like that good um, and then I'll just do the windows while I'm at it a little bit of blue. I'm, uh, I've, I've talked all the time about not using black in uh, in your paintings uh, if you're doing using watercolor. Because black just really messes up watercolor. So I use a shade called Neutral Tint. I use Winsor and Newton Professional watercolor paints, but I'm sure you get different kinds of shades of grey. You can mix. You can mix different colors. Um, and uh, that should do. Um, and you can mix different colours. Oh, just rock my paintbrush. <laughs> I can't find it. Yes, there we are. Ah, now I've fallen off my chair. <laughs> so, uh, I, and while I'm waiting for that red to dry a bit, I'm going to do a bit of the the gun kind of the background just just to fill in some. Um, time as it were um, <laughs> I'm, I'm working to a time uh, you know panic thing here so uh, I'm gonna just do that and I'll get my um, hair dryer and get this dry now because I don't want to uh, I'm worried about that stuff there. So I'll just dab that off okay. um, what was I saying? <laughs> Goodness, only you knows. Right, you don't want to use black, it just ma ma muddies up your paint. Um, what you've got with watercolours is you've got the white of the page, that's where the light is coming from. Okay? And the light shines through the transparent glazes of watercolour that you put on the top. If you were using oil paint or acrylics or something like that, the colour and the light is actually in the paint that you slap on. With watercolour, the light comes through the colour, okay? I don't know if that makes any kind of sense. So, um, so you don't want to use black, you don't want to use dirty colours, you want to keep your colours nice and clean as much as you can, okay? And, which is difficult when you're using kind of blacks and things like that. Uh, right, so um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to kind of paint, actually this should be a little bit darker, I think I'll just drop in, when it's wet, you can kind of drop in extra kind of colour like that. And I'm just going to kind of 
go around the corner there and then I'm just going to kind of fade it a bit and then just because it's a, the paintwork is black it doesn't actually mean that it is <laughs> because you know um, black paintwork reflects the sky and all sorts of things so uh, so don't just paint it black as the rolling sort of stones would say um, and and if you can kind of leave little bits and not paint them right in there we're going to leave um, what are we going to do there's a kind of a line across the front there and I'm just going to leave that pretty much white there I think and then I'll let that kind of fade a bit up to the top or thin out to the top there like that uh, and then along the bottom this is really dark here oh that's very dark <laughs> I need my tissues to wipe dry my brush um, always have a kind of a tissue or something to hand to you to, to, to mop up um, color and too much paint um, now this part here is very dark, it's, it, I, I don't know what it is, it's kind of turbo air intake or something isn't it? Um, and we can have very dark kind of wheels underneath there. Tires! <laughs> Sorry, they're not wheels there. It's the tires that we're painting and then kind of draw them around like that. Okay, and then you're going to want that very dark at the top as well. In there and this is going to be this kind of part under there is going to be very dark as well um i think i've got to do a bit more drying now um, and watercolor it kind of works like this you kind of build it up in layers and um <laughs> that's the time six minutes or something we did the other bit so i think six plus say two minutes so we're up to about eight minutes now or something like that um, so I have to think about these things while I'm painting so but you have all the time in the world these I think are kind of air intakes as well how many air intakes does a car need I have no idea I suppose if you're racing that engine like mad you need to keep it cool uh, we got those little bits on the top there as well uh, I think we can do those kind of quite dark underneath there. Um, and we're going to want quite a dark kind of bit around about there. And then we'll fade that around like that. Uh, and then I think this should be quite dark here really to, 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 to bring out the red. Just kind of help to lift the red up a little bit and have a bit in there as well coming around there and, and again this should be kind of that should be really dark there but similarly and we just leave a little kind of get highlight there this also should be really quite dark there coming around the corner um uh, actually, this should be much more of a sweep around there, really, like that. Which I can add in now that the colour is there. And I'm going to put a kind of a dark patch along the side of the car, like that. And just kind of work it. That's the thing about watercolour, you just need to keep working it and working it and adding. Um, and there comes a point when you're finished and and I think that's experience uh, it tells you when you're finished because if you just add that little bit extra ugh, you can ruin it very easily um, and we're going to want a bit on the bits on there um, and it's going to put a little line across there and then leave a little sh little sliver of white there which is kind of to, to give the um oh, I've just gone over it now uh just to give it a kind of a, a shine on the leading edge of that there now i think i'm going to need a little bit of blue in on the the tire on the wheel rims 
uh, kind of like that. Um, it's it's getting there, isn't it? It's getting there, and, and, and I'm really starting to panic now. That needs to be darkened up there. I'll just put some little things like that, and um, we're going to need certainly a bit of red in there as well for the baguette leg. We can maybe put some little kind of extra colour bits in there. Um, we're going to want colour in those bits, the um, kind of in between bits, and then I'm just going to. Uh, dark kind of because it's really low to the ground isn't it? Uh, work that around there. I think I think within my time schedule I think I think I'm gonna call that a few more little whoosh marks like like that. Okay. <laughs> there we go, how to draw a how to paint a Bugatti very well. And uh, actually I'm there is one thing I want to do, I'm just not quite happy with the, the red on the front. It needs to be much darker and much richer kind of red, and I'll bring that out like that. And I'll take that down the front, and then I'll just kind of wetting and cleaning my brush. I just kind of drag the colour with clear water into, uh, and, and I think I just do that like that. Yes, now I'm happy. Good. How to draw a Bugatti Veyron. <laughs> and if Mr. Bugatti is watching and you love this, yeah, I'd be quite happy to uh, have one free. <laughs> Big chance. Okay, uh, this has been Shoe Rainer on uh, the Shoe Rainer Drawing Channel on YouTube. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, keep coming back and uh, I'll show you how to draw lots more things. And in the meantime, keep drawing, keep practicing, keep uh, doing whatever you're doing. <laughs> Drive that car. And um, I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.